In today's video, we're gonna be talking about our range of Far Raven jackets and covering what are the misconceptions a lot of people have about them. Before we jump into these jackets in more detail, it's worth talking about something that covers two jackets within the collection we're gonna be talking about today. And that's that they're part of the Numbers Collection. This is a collection from File Raven that really focuses on durability, longevity, and the environmental impacts of their garments. If it's part of the Numbers Collection, it is made to an extremely high quality and is designed to be handed down through your family to the generation after. You'll notice that the two garments behind me each have a number in their name. So we have the Greenland, number one, and the Anorak, number eight. The number in the name refers to how many predecessors that item has had. So the Greenland jacket is the first in its generation, whereas the Anorak is number eight in a line of predecessors. It just shows the commitment that Far Raven are going to to develop high quality materials, high quality products, but also protect the environment. Okay, so to start us off, we have the Greenland number no. one, which is a more casual jacket from Far Raven. It's not designed to be super technical for going out into the hills and more about using in a casual uh, city environment, commuting to work, going out in those colder months and keeping you nice and warm. We see 100 grams per square meter of 800 fill bar goose down on the inside of this jacket. And that's under a G1000 Eco outer. So a nice, durable, robust outer that we know and love from Far Raven, but with an insulated inner. Uh, the insulated inner is a little bit easier to see if we unbutton it. Uh, we're seeing poppers down the main part of the jacket, and then that's backed by a two-way zip. This two-way zip is less about being as a belay, like some of the other jackets we've looked at in the past, and more about being as a ventilate the jacket if you need to. There's obviously the option to unzip it completely and use the poppers only. So just to show you, we've got our insulated inner just there. So it's nicely hidden under the uh, G1000 fabric, making this jacket look very nice and very smart uh, and not like your traditional down jacket either. So it would definitely suit someone who wants something that looks nice and smart. You can go out on it and it doesn't look like an insulated jacket, but it's still going to keep you warm. So we've got two lapel pockets here and here, easily big enough for a wallet or anything like that. Probably couldn't get a modern smartphone in them though. And then we've got two lower pockets, both popper closure, so no zips on those. Uh, and they can either be popper closed or left open if you wish. Got a nice big hood, which fits really well. Uh, this is unadjustable and it's got a nice leather trim here, again, just to make it into a really nice casual jacket to wear. Going back into the inside of the jacket, we have got a little free floating pocket. So it's a free floating pocket just so you don't have to cut into the down and this is just stitched into the inside. This is easily big enough for your wallet, your smartphone or anything like that. Coming down the sleeves, we've got some of that nice vegan leather again to really set this jacket off and we've got a popper system on the cuff there to help you adjust it to fit you perfectly. So you've got one option, which is a little bit baggier, and if you want it to tighten it up a little bit more, you can do that as well. So the Greenland number one jacket is definitely aimed more towards someone who's looking for a casual jacket rather than anything they're gonna take on a technical backpacking trip or anything like that. It's gonna keep you nice and warm where you're commuting to work, going into the city, or going on walks from your house. Next up, we have the Kaipak jacket, which is definitely more orientated towards trekking and technical purposes. This would be a really good option for anyone looking for a uh, outer layer to be worn while you're trekking in harsh conditions. Uh, be replacing kind of the soft shell in your collection, but on a more durable scale. So we're using G1000 Eco on the outside of this. So it's a really nice, hard wearing outer fabric. Or for someone looking for a nice bushcraft jacket that could protect them from a little bit of light rain and the elements, but is nice and hard wearing because they're gonna be using a lot of sharp tools and the potential for rips and tears are quite high. Like I said, we're seeing G1000 Eco on the majority of the jacket, but we're also seeing some stretch panels and they're located under the armpits. So they come all the way down to this point here and then down to this point here. And what that does is give you more freedom of movement. It's not gonna restrict your movement and it makes the jacket a bit more comfortable, but it also helps the jacket breathe a little bit and makes it a nicer item to wear for long periods of time. Starting with the front of the jacket, we've got a two-way YKK zip and we've got a poppered storm flap that goes over the top of it. We have got pre-articulated sleeves with a little Velcro cuff on the end so we can get a really nice secure fit. Got a nice large exterior lapel pocket and then two lower hand pockets which are both zip pockets as well. Moving to the inside of the jacket, we have an internal lapel pocket which is situated on this side of the jacket, and that's got a zip to it, easily big enough for a smartphone or your wallet, anything you wanna keep close to your person and not on the exterior of the jacket. And then if I unzip this all the way down, we've also got a drop pocket on the other side. So good for hats, gloves, that kind of thing. Things you wanna keep close to your person, maybe you wanna keep warm and inside the jacket, um, but you don't wanna try and stuff into a small pocket. This has got a nice big opening, nice and easy to get into and get things out of as well. We've got a adjustable hem, and that is adjustable on both sides of the jacket, so you can in independently adjust both sides to make sure you get a really nice fit. And then as we move up, we've got a 
fully adjustable hood with a wired peak. So it's got a semi-rigid peak on it to keep the weather out of your face. And then we've got three points of adjustment, just like with normal waterproofs. We've got two on the front here and they're using a little toggle on the exterior of the jacket. And then we've got a volume reducer on the back there. And we'll just show you what that looks like in a second. Like I said, this jacket is definitely orientated towards more technical use, going out in the woods, doing a bit of bushcraft, going out trekking, and it's aimed towards someone who's looking for a nice, breathable outer layer that's really, really durable. And then finally, but by no means least, we have the Anorak Number no. 8, which has got to be our most feature-heavy jacket from Far Raven. This is a smock design, so it's going to go over your head, and we've got a main zipper that comes halfway down the jacket, and then two side zips as well, which we'll come back to in just a second. This jacket is designed for tough conditions in the mountains or the woods all year round. We see a G1000 Eco all across the bottom of the jacket and then down the sleeves and we're seeing a G1000 Eco heavy duty across the high wear areas. So the shoulders down into the lower portion and then down the back and on the hood as well. We've got plenty of different features on this jacket. The first of which is a really nice big kangaroo pocket. We've got zips on both sides so you can open it from both sides of the jacket. And that is a really nice large compartment there to store all your stuff. Behind that is situated another pocket which goes all the way through, a little bit like a hoodie. And that is two zip pockets on both sides. And inside that is actually a little pocket where you could stick your wallet or your phone so that you don't want moving around within the pocket you want secure. And in one place you can get to it nice and easy. On the front of the jacket we've got both a zip and button construction. So you could have it buttoned up with the zip open to give yourself a little bit of extra room. You could unbutton it completely if you don't want this set up quite as high and in your face, giving you as much protection. And then obviously the third option is to have it buttoned and zipped up, which is gonna keep the jacket nice and high and give you the most protection, covering the majority of your lower face. Like so, and then that's got a popper closure as well, just to make sure it's all kept in one place. We have got a fully adjustable hood on this jacket, and it's a nice big hood. We've got three points of adjustment, two on the front here and one on the back. That means we can get a really nice, comfortable fit. We also see an interesting peak design on this hood. It's got a semi-rigid peak, which means we can fold it back in harsh weather. In its normal configuration, you'll see it looks more like a Scooby hood, which creates a warm barrier of air in front of your face to keep you warm in harsh conditions. If the weather isn't quite so harsh, then you can opt to fold it back and give yourself a bit more peripheral vision. We also see high quality materials across the jacket. As well as the G1000, we also see leather on all of the zip pullers, which are long enough to be used with gloves. So moving down the jacket, we've got two zips, one on either side, and they can be used in two different ways. The first way is to simply undo them from the bottom and open the jacket up. It's just gonna make the jacket float a little bit more. It's a little bit less close fitting once that's unzipped, but it's also gonna allow some ventilation. If you don't want the jacket flapping around, you can pull that zip back down and instead open the top one. What this is gonna do is allow you to ventilate the jacket a lot better, so get some airflow through the jacket so you're not as warm, uh, but without the jacket flapping around and being a nuisance. While we've got that open, we've also got a higher adjustment point which helps cinch in the top of the jacket, um, and that is an adjustment point just here for you. Draw that in and it helps draw the back of the jacket in nice and tight and just helps it stop flapping around and you don't have too much excess fabric. And then as we come down to the bottom, we've got a lower hem adjustment, which adjusts the hem on the front of the jacket only, obviously, because we've got those side zips. It can't do the full 360, but that helps draw the front of the jacket in and get you a slightly better fit. And then right at the back, tucked away and pop it up nice and securely, is this strap at the bottom, which goes between your legs and then poppers into the front of the jacket. And that just helps secure the jacket, stops it riding up in really cold conditions. The last thing to talk about is the sleeves. These are Nice long sleeves, so they can come all the way down your arm. Make sure that if you outstretch or you're doing anything with your arms, which means you're extending them to their full potential, that the jacket isn't gonna ride up and expose your, expose your flesh. And then the sizing of that is just controlled with a very simple popper system, which is nice and easy to use. So you can have it a slightly baggier fit, or if you want to, unpopper that, draw it in, and you'll get a much snugger fit. This jacket is really ideal for anyone looking for a really, really hard wearing um, smock, or anorak type jacket. Um, like I said, it's not fully waterproof, but it's gonna help protect you from the elements. So it's definitely windproof, and it's gonna give you a light shower protection as well. Now that we've had a quick chat about the jackets, let's have a chat about one of the misconceptions that people have surrounding G1000 and the Fowl Raven G1000 range as a whole. And that is that G1000 is 100% waterproof. This isn't the case. None of the seams are taped on these G1000 jackets, so there is a chance of moisture to enter the jacket. 
Straight off the bat, G1000 is highly water and wind resistant, so it's gonna keep you dry in a very light shower, but there is something we can do to improve that and take it to the next level of water resistance. So we've got two samples of fabric, one and two. Number one has, uh, has been waxed with the Greenland wax that you can buy in store and online, and the other piece is just a simple piece of G1000. The waxing process is really simple. You basically warm up the fabric with an iron and rub your wax on it. And it gives you a really nice DWR type coating to the outside of the jacket, a wax coating to the outside of the jacket, which is gonna help shed water a lot better. So if we put a couple of drops of water on the normal G1000, we'll show you a close up as well, just so you can see it a bit better. You'll notice that it does sit on the outside of the jacket, but it does soak in over time. So although this would keep you dry, and if we flip the fabric over, you'll see that none of that has actually come through to the other side yet. After a long time in the rain, it is gonna eventually soak through this fabric. And it's certainly not gonna shed that moisture as well as if it would if it was waxed. This piece of G1000 has been waxed before the video. If we put a bit of water on it, you'll notice that it has the same effect as if you were wearing a waterproof jacket. That wax coating acts a bit like a DWR and helps shed that water, and that with a quick shake, a lot of that moisture leaves the jacket. So although these jackets are waterproof, they are highly water resistant, but by not being fully waterproof, they are incredibly breathable by comparison. So if you're looking for a jacket that you're gonna be using in an active situation, you're working hard in, or going somewhere where you need a really durable layer, then this is a really good option. It's also worth noting that if you decide you wanna wax your jacket, you use it a couple of times, uh, and you decide that you'd quite like it to go back to how it was, you can wash the wax off, it does come off, uh, and you can then choose to wax it again if you want to in the future, or if you prefer the style and the look and the way it acts without the wax, you can go ahead and use it without. So that was a quick look at our range of Far Raven jackets. If you've got any questions, leave them down in the comment section below, and like always, if you could like and subscribe, it really helps us out. We'll see you next time.